Hello guys, who are you? So today we're going to talk a little bit about streaming services and the ones that we're going to compare now today it's your local PC, the xCloud system in both PC and iOS and GeForce now. So the importance of these systems is that uh, uh, the, the idea of this video is that we want to measure the input lag or how noticeable is the delay when you grab, let's say, your controller and you try to play a little bit, okay, how does it feel with the screen? What are you seeing? Is it taking too long? Is it enjoyable? Is it playful? So for today, we're going to um, do some little testing. We're going to, me the method of testing is we're going to use a camera. We're going to capture the footage on the on the computer or in this case on the iPhone, the browser. And then we're going to use another camera to measure the time we press the button and then the time we can see the actual action on the screen. It could be it could be the iPhone. So in this case, we're going to do some calculations. Important to mention that we're going to capture the footage at 60 frames per second. That means that we're going to have 16.67 milliseconds for each frame that we have between the start of the input and the final display. We're going to build an Excel spreadsheet where we're going to put all this data, calculate it. We're going to measure the average frames it took, it took for, for, for the action to appear and the input lag corresponding in milliseconds. And then we're going to draw a little conclusion on, you know, what's happening there. And we can theorize a little bit about it too. So first we're going to start talking about Halo and Destiny. These two specific games I picked because there's Destiny 2 I can compare between all of the systems, which means GeForce Now, xCloud, and the local PC at different frame rates. Halo in this case, uh, I don't have Halo or GeForce Now, though, so they're not all the games are compatible between the, the, the different streaming platforms that I want to test. So we start today Halo 1 on the PC, 180 frames per second, capped. We do the button, we look at the recording frame by frame. I take note on the spreadsheet and then we do the re uh, the, the subtraction. Now we go Halo 1 MCC PC at 60 frames per second. Going on, running fine. We do the same procedure. We get ready our camera. Now you can see now better. See how it matches, right? So we click and then we start frame by frame when the when it moves on the cam on the on the footage. So that's the interesting part. For that time, uh, we're, we're, we do the subtraction, we do the measurement five times because we need to get averages. We are scientific here, we're not being not being cheap. Uh, we could have done a little bit more, but I think five gives us a very good accurate representation of first the stability of the input and you know, just some numbers so we can play around and get some averages. So now we're gonna go with xCloud. We're gonna uh, test Halo 1 in xCloud using Chrome browser. Um, I'm not really sure what are they using to emulate. I believe they're using an Xbox One S. That's the xCloud platform, I believe. I have to confirm. But regardless, so it must be, must be capped at 60 F FPS. Regardless, here you go. The same procedure. We get the controller, you know, use the input, record it, and then we continue. Um, we take notes of all of the data. Then I put it on Adobe Premiere, frame by frame, put the start of the input, final display, the same for each of the five times. As you can see, it, it seems easy, but you know, it is interesting interesting how it feels because you can actually feel that the X call is a little bit a little bit laggier. And this is Halo 1 MCC in X iOS. This one is by far, as of today, the worst experience you can get on streaming, at least for Halo. I know X Cloud on iOS is still in beta. I know it still has things, it still has things that need to be worked especially a dedicated app. So now we're going to go and move on to Destiny 2. I don't want to make this video too long. So at this point, I'm just going to find a place where we can actually do the measurements. I'm going to I'm going to check the FPS. It should be this one for us now at 120. This one is my local PC capped 120, 126, 125. I get a, a specific place where, you know, I can get the same frame rate, at least on the computer. And there you go, 120 FPS. You get the controller, same. We get the other camera, press the input record and take notes. Of course, when I say take notes, it's putting the, the actual footage on the computer and see frame by frame and do the math. So there you go, five times, of course. I Sometimes I do it more just to have an extra, extra room there in case I couldn't measure properly, but it was okay. I, I took five measurements every time. Now we go to 60 frames per second on the PC. I put it there, you can actually see it's the same footage, but now 60 frames, locked. And now, there you go, another video. We start to measure. There you go amazing right so basically this is a kind of scientific approach uh with a very affordable 
set up in order for you to actually measure. If you want, you can measure this yourself in your home. You can actually use your iPhone in case you don't have a higher quality camera, but an iPhone is good enough. Now here we're going to test, if I recall correctly, we are going to test. This seems like this is GeForce now. So we're going to test it. I'm 100% sure this is GeForce now because of the quality of it dropped. And there you go, it's on performance mode. You actually can choose in GeForce now. You can actually choose balance, data saver, and performance mode. Performance mode greatly decreases the quality of the image, but you can greatly see a faster response time, 100%. So there you go, same procedure. We get another camera, we measure the input of the of the action, and then we measure when it moves on the display, take notes of the each of each frame, then we put it on Excel spreadsheet. I did the formula, and now we're gonna test xCloud on Chrome. So for xCloud on Chrome, same procedure, get my other camera, the controller, same controller, there you go. Should be quite an easy with the footage. We go back to Premiere and we just basically measure again, frame by frame, which is pretty interesting. There you go. So um, as you can see guys, um, pretty interesting data over here. And that's part of the story. Now we go to the xCloud using, you know, my Xbox controller. And now there you go. You can see actually more noticeable lag on this one. And um, um, you can see more noticeable lag on this one. And now we're gonna see the table of results, which is pretty amazing we're gonna see right now. So first we're gonna draw up the table for Halo CE MCC. So for here, you're going to see that for xCloud, we have an average of 19 loss frames, or when I say loss is the time between the input and the actual action, which relates to a little bit of 323.3 milliseconds. For xCloud Chrome PC, we have 13 frames between the input and the display which equates around to 216 milliseconds, which is unfathomable, untenable. For PC 180 FPS, we have 4.6 frames in average, which means 76 milliseconds. That's actually still bad, but Halo 1 has a noticeable lag issue. And for PC X60 FPS, we have a little bit more 100 milliseconds, which is kind of normal for this type of business. And GeForce Now is not available for Halo. So there you go. Best option, PC 180 FPS or PC at higher frame rate. Now we're going to talk about Destiny 2. For Destiny 2, something interesting happens. xCloud iOS, 290 milliseconds, unplayable for multiplayer, just campaign, very hard to aim. The same happens for xCloud Chrome PC, a little bit lower, 70 ms lower, but still over the threshold, more than 100. It's purely unplayable, guys. And then for PC, we have at 120 FPS, we have actually 1.4 frames. It's actually 23 milliseconds. For PCX60, 40 milliseconds. And GeForce now 73. So 73 milliseconds is actually a pretty good number. Uh, it's a little bit above the 60, 65 millisecond threshold. But regardless, you can still get a, a good play, a good campaign play. Well, this is just what I want to tell you guys today. Basically... Uh, the state of the streaming services right now is not in its bed up. It's not. It's not as in its optimal place. But you know what? I think we're getting there. And GeForce now today, I think, offers the best option for you to play at least campaign modes without having to suffer for a long delay time. The way it comes, it becomes just unplayable. So if you like this video, guys, just remember like and subscribe, please, and see you on the next video. Bye bye.